Charlie Bernstein, Bo Marchant here. Football Insiders, of course, we're live at the East West Shrine practices. The day has just wrapped up with the Western practice. Uh, rain, obviously, I, I think maybe slowed the guys down a little bit today. Yeah, you can definitely see during the drills a lot of guys slipping. You can see, you know, the one-on-one -on -one with the offensive and defense alignment. A lot of times those guys couldn't get the, you know, that out of their stance quick enough. A lot of guys would slip and fall. And then you saw a lot of balls kind of getting the ground just because the ball was loose. But with that said, they did do a pretty good job of just maintaining and doing some good things. I'm sure you saw some guys that did some positive things. I know I did as well. Now, who were some of those guys? I, I saw a lot more positives in the East practice. Um, you know, look mostly at the, uh, the pass catchers there. Um, you know, if you guys really stood out to me, who stood out to you too? Well, you know, one guy we just talked with was uh, the rice kid, Jordan Taylor. Talk about a big kid, about 6'3", 12. And, you know, and the one thing I always like to do when I come to these games is I like to listen to the coaches. And if you listen to these position coaches, they're going to keep telling you. There's time and time and time again, he kept saying, hey, nice job, Jordan, nice job, Jordan, good job, Jordan. And, and he's quick. And the one thing I was shocked by, you know, he's so fast. Big yeah. guys, you know, and he, and he kind of, that kind of shot. Maybe a Matt Jones type? Yeah, but better. I think quicker than a Matt Jones. <laughs> you know, Matt G, yeah, definitely better than a Matt Jones. And I, I yeah, you know, he's, a, he's more athletic than what I thought of him. Real lengthy, but very, yeah. very fast. Of course, uh, the long hair, you know, reminds you of him a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, Trey McBride, this guy that, that kind of, you know, that, that stood out to me uh, for the East practice. Um, just looks really natural. Going in and out of routes, and you know this is the type of scenario again with the wet field, where you're going to have guys slip, you're going to have guys fall. Anybody that can keep their balance, keep their feet, and it's not just an equipment issue; it's an agility issue. Those guys that can keep their feet, you know, that's kind of that's saying a lot to a lot of the scouts out here. Yeah, and I think they kind of, you know, I think they bear with the kids. Yeah. I mean, it's their first practice. You know, a lot of them are coming off bowl games, or some of them haven't played football in, a, in a, yeah. nearly a month. So this is the first time they really got their feet, new teammates, and you know, the quarterbacks, it's hard to get the, a real feel on the quarterbacks, too. I just yeah. like to look at the mechanics and what the kids are doing. It's so much more than just them making a throw here there, because, you know, the lines, you know, it's a makeshift line in one day. The receivers are just learning the route, so there's a lot goes into the quarterbacks. But, you know, I, I, I like the West quarterbacks today more so than I like the East quarterbacks. I don't know really what that, but I, you know, but like I said, it's, so, it's one day, and you've got a week long. I, 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 I don't so. think there's uh for six quarterbacks, I don't think there's enough up there. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. At this point, yeah, it's going to be a stretch. Most of them are undersized. Yeah. You know, I mean, they just don't have okay. the Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a stretch for one of these guys to make an impact on, I think, the next level of the quarterback position. Well, that was our day one recap here at East West Shrine practice on beautiful, rainy St. Petersburg, Florida.